You ask whether you can attribute the, the uh, success of the prosperity of the 50s and 60s uh, to the dominance of Keynesian demand management. I think the answer is clearly no. There was no such Keynesian demand management, at least not explicitly, in the prosperous 20s. The 20s were a highly prosperous period. His disciples were the product of the 1930s. Inflation was the last thing in the world they were worried about. Deflation, depression seemed to them the only important problem. Keynes, after all, was a product of the First World War and the post-war period. In his book on monetary reform, he chronicles the effects of these disastrous post-World War I inflations. He was just as strongly opposed to inflation as any <laughs> hard gold bug you can possibly imagine. He said in the, uh, in the monetary reform that the uh, most insidious way to destroy a nation is to destroy its currency. And uh, he has a very eloquent statement along those lines. I think his influence on economic theory is on the whole a very good one. Not because the theory he proposed was right, but he caused us all to look at the problem through different lenses, developed a terminology that has turned out to be very useful to people like myself who don't and never have accepted the basic elements of his theory. And he was the right kind of an economist as an economic scientist from my point of view. So far as economic policy is concerned, I think that goes along with his influence on the general intellectual climate. In that respect, I think he's had a very bad influence because he encouraged the tendency of the intellectual community to believe that, A, the way to solve all problems was to have government solve them, and, B, the way to have government solve the problems was to put intellectuals in charge of it. In that respect, in promoting that notion that it was government you had to look at to solve the problem rather than the private activities of individuals, private voluntary activities, that compulsion was preferable in many cases to voluntary cooperation, and that the intellectuals had a special claim to be the person who turned the dials and pulled the levers of power. In those respects, I think Keynes' influence was wholly bad.